everyone, we're going to evaluate the definite integral from 0 to a of square root of a squared minus x squared dx. Our a has to be positive, and we're going to use the method of substitution. So for us, what we're going to do is let x equal a sine of theta. Uh, that's going to help us integrate this uh, what we have here. So if x is a sine of theta, then dx equals a cosine of theta d theta. And I can rewrite this as uh, the square root of a squared minus x squared. So x squared would equal a squared times sine squared of theta. So you're going to write a squared sine squared of theta and then our dx is going to be a cosine of theta d theta. Now we have to change our upper and lower limits so when x is 0 we're going to have 0 equals a sine of theta and the only way that can happen is if, if my theta is 0. So basically, my lower limit stays the same. All right, when we have uh, x equals a, your upper limit, so you have a equals a sine of theta. The only way that happens is if sine of theta equals 1. and or, So that means our angle here has to be pi divided by 2 because pi divide, uh, sine of pi divided by 2 is 1. And 1 times a will give you that. So we're going to write pi divided by 2 here. Now let's simplify this. Um, this is going to give me, um, if I pull out an a squared, so I'm going to have 0 to pi divided by 2. And if I pull out an a squared, and write this as 1 minus sine squared of theta, and we still have times a cosine of theta d theta, what I'm going to get is um, this pulls out just to be an a, and then I have another a here, and so that's going to be a squared, and this right here is going to be cosine squared, and you still have a cosine of theta d theta. All right, so before we move on, this is going to be a squared. This is cosine times cosine, which is going to end up being cosine squared. So let's do that part. We're going to get um, a squared, and then we're going from 0 to pi divided by 2. We have cosine squared of theta d theta. The only other thing I want to do when you have a cosine squared or sine squared, when you do integration, you want to use these identities because it makes it easier to um, evaluate. So this is going to end up being, um, I'm going to pull out this one half. So it's going to be a squared divided by 2. We have 0 to pi divided by 2. And this is just going to end up being 1 plus cosine of 2 theta d theta. All right, now let's look and see if we can integrate this. So we have a squared divided by 2. The antiderivative of 1 is theta. And then for this piece, that's going to be sine of 2 theta. But you have to do the 1 half part here. Divide by 2 because you're doing the antiderivative. And we're going from 0 to pi divided by 2. All right. So basically, we can substitute in our pi divided by 2, then our 0. And I'm going to go ahead and um, move this over and write this out again real quick. a squared divided by 2. We had theta plus 1 half sine of 2 theta. We're going from 0 to pi divided by 2. All right. So let's substitute that in a squared divided by 2, and we're going to have pi divided by 2 plus 1 half sine 
of 2 times pi divided by 2 is pi minus now substitute in your 0 so 0 plus 1 half sine of 0 all right now it looks like um, sine of 0 is 0 so all this is just going to be big 0 sine of pi is 0 now basically all we have is this these two left so your final answer is going to be a squared times pi divided by 4. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.